Hello everybody and welcome back to our very first farm in Farming Simulator 22. We are continuing to try to build our modest little operation here up into a major uh, agricultural uh, empire. I don't know what word you want to use for that. But uh, thus far we've made it to where we have a single chicken coop and that's not really that impressive. So we're going to continue on trying to make lots of money and continue in building out our infrastructure so that we can have some cows and some more chickens and maybe a couple of production lines. Uh, I think right now we need to go ahead. Oh, we have our, uh, we do already have our mower all set up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and get that done then since we already have it there. Let's get everything lowered. Why does that need to be, why does that need to be, why? Uh, okay. What does my control V do then? I'm confused. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, one of our major sources of income is uh, cutting grass to make silage. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that for this episode. I typically try to show you guys most of the parts of going through this one time. Uh, we do several cuts a year though because, oh, I forgot to do it again. I always forget to put the arm down for the trailer back there. So let's get that selected, get the arm down. There we go. All right, get our cruise control turned back on. Uh, this monstrosity of a setup that you see here is has a couple of modded parts in it to make it work. It's, uh, let me get my turn done here. I kind of have to focus on that. My brain needs to, can only focus on one thing at a time. Uh, we have a full on mower set up at the front that also does a swath, which makes it so that the baler back there can pick it up. And then the bale turns it into bales and the trailer picks up the bales. And then we're able to go deposit all of our bales into, hold on, I gotta get turned around here. We're trying to do a headland pass, a couple of headland passes up here so that we can start going back and forth. Uh, it deposits it into those the, the closer, smaller silos over there, uh, which is our silage factory. Uh, it's a mod that I downloaded that will turn deposited grass into either hay, silage, or uh, or something else. Or no, there's two different materials you can put in that will turn into silage, I think. Something like that. I don't, I don't exactly remember. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and make some space around either side of that side of that side of the field and this side of the field over here and then we'll start doing some passes back and forth to get all of our grass cut and turned into bales and then turned into silage that way we can uh, fertilize the fields get it ready for the next cutting in a few months and then um, advance time until I think September so that we can plant another round of wheat for our wheat fields because uh, we need lots and lots of wheat for our chickens. So we need to turn another one of our another one of our fields into a wheat field because we don't quite have enough we don't quite grow enough wheat to fully sustain our chicken coop. Oops, I knew I was gonna get stuck there. Get off, get off, get off, let go. Uh, we don't have we don't grow quite enough wheat on our own to make it so that we can get all the way through the year without having to buy a pallet of wheat. So that's kind of unfortunate. But uh, I think if we turn this next field here, or wait a minute, we bought a field in the last one. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to go back and remember everything that we've done so far. I, uh, but I don't. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stop here. We're gonna get our GPS guidance steering menu turned on. And then we're gonna set a heading of, we're currently at 180. So we're gonna set a heading of a 180. And then I have to, I always have to detach the baler there because it has a much wider working area than our mower. We're gonna Alt R to set the width for that. Then we can reattach our baler. This is a modded baler. So you can, uh, when you press the flashlight, it brings up the little pickup area. It has an extra wide pickup area just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, so that's what we're doing there. Let's go ahead and get our guided steering turned on, get our equipment all turned on, get our cruise control turned on. And now we're just going to start doing our back and forth passes. Um, I'll go up here, do one turnaround so you can kind of see the pattern that we're going to be doing. And then uh, I'll put a nice big cut in here so that you guys don't have to watch the ridiculous. Well, it's not ridiculous, but it's just the very boring and repetitive back and forth of going back over, going over the field over here. So we'll get up over here, turn around, do another, uh, show you the offset kind of uh, striped pattern that we're going to be creating. So let's get this turned around. 
And we're just going to keep going back and forth until we get over there. I will put a cut in now and continue cutting until we get over there. And you guys will see a nice offset or uh, alternating striped pattern going back and forth over here. Finish up with the bale. There you go. So satisfying. All right, and as you can see, we have nice, perfectly neat rows of uh, grass going back and forth. Uh, we need to get turned around over here and then back on to this one. Oh, that little guy? Oh, don't worry about that little guy. He's all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get back over here. As you can see, the GPS guided steering is making us uh, set up so that we can get perfect cuts and not waste any time going back and forth. Obviously, you're going to have a little bit of waste if you're not if you're not able to make the turns properly, um, you know. And every once in a while, especially if you have, if when you have confined space a little bit, it's not going to always work out the way that you want it to. But we're going to keep going back and forth and finish up all of our cutting here, get all of that grass done over here and over there, and dropped into the silage factory because we want to be able to sell off all of our stuff and make lots of money at the end of the year. So let me get turned around here, start doing this row, and we'll put in another cut. All right, we are nearing the end of our cutting for this uh, for this month anyway. So let's go ahead and get ourselves turned around. It's very satisfying to watch the field uh, get all cut down like this, come to an end. Unfortunately, I still haven't figured out the pattern that makes it so that I'll end my last row coming in this direction and just go straight to the thing. Eventually, I will, but then at the same time, we're, we're, we're kind of trying to shift our grass if operation off in that direction. So once we are able to buy those fields, we'll be cutting our grass over there, and we'll have a bunch of wheat fields over here to feed our chickens. So kind of no point in learning a pattern, because eventually we're, we're trying to hurry up and get to the point where that pattern is going to be useless anyway. So let's get ourselves... We'll get the mower turned off just so we can get a little bit of extra speed, I think. Get ourselves all the way over here. Cut this last little patch of grass right up there. I know we missed some over there, but it's not that big of a deal. We don't have enough to finish off our uh, our bales anyways. So I just figure since we're going to be driving in this direction anyways, we might as well go ahead and grab this last little bit of grass here for next time. All right, there we go. Get ourselves parked right like... Oops, I always have to finagle this a little bit. That's all right. There we go. I think that's actually perfectly placed. So we'll get our we'll get our last trailer set up. Press the Y key to get it pushed back. I'm not sure why that uh, grass bale there didn't end up getting wrapped, but that's okay. I mean, realistically, I don't even know that we necessarily need to wrap our bales. Now that I think about it. Okay, get those pushed off. Get everything put in there. Perfect. And then we get our trailer put away. I think that'll finish going on its own. I don't think I need to sit there and hold it. We'll put our mower over here. Ooh, having an autosave happen in there. That's why it was uh, getting some graphical lag there. And let's relocate over here because we need to go grab our fertilizer spreader and get our grass fields over there fertilized for the next cutting so we can make sure that we're maximizing our profits. So get ourselves over here and turn around and back up and do all that stuff. And Yeah, that stuff. <laughs> Gonna get this hooked on here. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to buy some more fertilizer. So we'll grab a couple of bags of that. Get that purchased. Move ourselves over to where they get deposited. I do have the delivery mod set up, which allows me to specify a location where our materials get delivered. And they charge me a 2.5% fee to get that done. So I'm a big fan of that. I feel like it's a. I feel like that's worth it for the convenience of not having to drive all the way down to the store every single time. Okay, so now we have this done, or at least we, not done. We have the uh, fertilizer set up over here, so let's go get our fields nice and fertilized and uh, mass maximum maximum production. Cause that's what we want, maximum production. So I'm gonna finish fertilizing these fields. I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch me painting this the entire time. And uh, well, you know what? Why don't we try that time lapse thing I've been working on? I'm gonna try to put a little time lapse in here. We'll see how that works.
All right, well, we'll see how that turned out in the actual video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of that time lapse. It's uh, it's not a time lapse from a video editing thing. I, I, I figured out a way to uh, kind of sort of do a time lapse as I'm recording. So you guys let me know what you think. You want to see more of those? or Because I'm not doing video editing. I'm just I'm telling you up front. You're not getting professional looking time lapses. That's that's about as good as it's going to get if it, it, as good as it is. <laughs> So, uh, you know, if you guys like those a little bit more, I haven't figured out a way to uh, add any music to it. But, uh, you know, it allows me to record time lapses as I'm recording. Uh, it uses a macro to do pause and unpause, pause and unpause and at a certain rate and kind of makes it work. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, anyways, we have finished all of our tasks for the grass cutting portion of all of this. I think our chickens are still probably pretty good with their feed. Why is their produ productivity so low? I think it's because their food got down really low and they didn't quite have enough to uh, be okay, but that's okay. Let's check out our egg production over here. Does not look like we uh, have anything to do. So they're fed for now. We think we have plenty of food available to feed them. So we just need to get to, what, September, and then we can plant another wheat harvest. So let's go ahead and advance things a couple of months, August and September. Let's see, let's go to uh, 8 o'clock, something like that. All right, cool. And then, so now we have some uh, eggs over here. Their food should still be pretty good. So let's grab our auto-loading trailer so that we can sell off some eggs and make a little bit of money. Right, trying to grab that as quickly as we can. There we go. Da, 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 da. And auto load. I'm a big fan of auto loading trailer. Auto loading trailers. It makes a life so much more easy. Get this. Uh, for whatever reason, the default setting for it is to not load. Well, I mean, I guess it make it kind of makes sense because you know a lot of people aren't going to want to sell partial crates. But I just want to go ahead and just sell everything. Get it off. Get it off the. Get it off the pallets and out of here and into our bank accounts because I'm a big fan of that. <laughs> So we're going to finish this here, then we'll go grab our cedar over there and uh, plant wheat in uh, several, several fields. I actually think that because we're going to have things set up to have uh, enough money Let's see. I know I'm, I'm not saying it in a very efficient way, but uh, I want to buy this field over here and I want to kind of start moving our way down. And once we sell our silage for this year, we should have enough money to buy this field. So I'm thinking what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to head, go ahead and turn um, we're going to turn this field, all, these three fields. We're going to keep those wheat and we're actually going to take both of these fields and turn them into wheat as well. And then we'll keep this for grass until we can. Uh, so like when we buy this field, we'll switch out this field. And then when we buy this field, we'll switch out this field. And all of this will be wheat and all of this will be grass. So all of that said, let's go ahead and pick up our cedar. Make sure that we have enough. Um, hmm. OK, come on, get over here, please, please. Give me the thing. Thank you. Uh, oh, we're going to need some more fertilizer. Go figure that. Let's go ahead. We'll just buy two of them so we can make sure we have plenty available. We'll also look down there this time and actually make sure that wheat is selected because I have this really bad habit of uh, planting grass and then leaving it on grass, thinking that I'm about to plant wheat or something else, and then I end up planting a bunch of grass for no reason. So let's try not to do that this time. <clears throat> That said, let's go ahead and get this thing unfolded. We'll position ourselves up here at the top. We'll get our GPS steering set up. And ideally, we'll get some nice clean rows. Let's see, we're already on heading. I want to get the width set up properly and then we're facing at 90 degrees. So let's go ahead and set that at 90 degrees. And then get this nice and set perfectly on the lines there. Get our GPS steering set up. Hold on, get this lowered down, get the cedar turned on, and away we go. All right. Now, unfortunately, there's a fence over there that really gets in the way when we're trying to do this stuff. So I am going to have to do a little bit of manual steering over here to kind of finagle a headland pass or two so that we can get nice and set up. But once we get that figured out, uh, I think everything is going to be golden. So let's do this. And we'll just kind of go like that, I think. 
Yeah, that works for the most part. We're gonna either way. We're gonna end up having to waste an entire pass going down on that little strip there because it's just it's just the way that this field works. It's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. So uh, I'm not gonna do another time lapse because I'm not sure how that actually turned out. Uh, in my testing, it seems to kind of work, but at the same time, you guys let me know what you think. I don't want to inflict it on you any more than you have to if it's something that bugs you. So just let me know in the comments and uh, majority rules. So I'm going to I'm gonna finish up this little field here. Uh, it's not really going to take us that long. We'll switch over to the other field over there, and then we can advance time to, uh, I don't know, are we going to be able to put, I think we have one more cut, one more grass cutting that we're going to be able to do before the end of the year. Then we can sell off all of our silage, which is going to be pretty nice. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around like that so we can get this last little patch here. Then we'll turn around like this and get ourselves set up to do the last pass over there because we want to get as much wheat as we can. And unfortunately, this is going to waste a lot of fertilizer and seed doing this little strip over here. But unfortunately, like I said, the width of this cedar is just a little bit too short to do all of this in the number of passes that I'd like to be able to do it in. And it's just kind of the way it goes. So we're going to finish up this strip over here and then we'll go and we're going to, yeah, like I said, we're going to do all of the entire field over there. We're going to switch all the entire field over there except for the bottom two fields uh, to wheat. So that way we have enough, so that way we have enough, more than enough to feed this chicken coop here and hopefully get a really good start on building a second chicken coop. And then all of that can turn into, uh, all of the eggs and stuff like that can turn into money to start getting ready to put up cow barns. Cause I really want to get into the cow barns there. That's going to be the, that's going to be the super cool part. So let's get this moved over. That way we can have a nice GPS steering point. Uh, get it lowered, get it turned on, and away we go. Now this field's much bigger, so obviously I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me do the entire thing. Um, I'm going to go around, get this done, and I'll be back in just a minute. We're on the home stretch. We're finishing up planting our wheat over here. Obviously next month we, can come, we need to come back with the fertilizer pass, but... Uh, Hopefully this will be plenty of wheat for our chicken coop and a good start on our next one. Let's uh, stop over here for a second though. I want to double check and make sure that I know what our grass is doing. Ready to harvest growth stage three of three. So actually next month we're going to be able to cut the grass over there again. So that's interesting. Let's get this tool folded up, put away. We need to advance time to next month so that we can uh, fertilize, fertilize all of our wheat and then we're going to do a little bit of grass cutting over there. Let's see, our grass, our field over there should be, did we not plant, did we not plant, uh, did we not plant anything over here? I think, wait a minute, where am I? <laughs> I'm lost. Uh, yeah, I don't think we actually planted anything in this field over here, did we? Um, I'm not turning, I think we're turning it into grass if I remember correctly. So since I was a, a dummy and didn't think to plant this, we're going to go ahead and do that now, I guess. Uh, we ended up harvesting all this wheat because it was extra. But unfortunately, I didn't think, as I always do, I always, I always forget to do these things. Let's go ahead and get our heading set up for that. Get that over, get that lined up like that. And I guess we're going to have to spend some time... Uh, Spend some time planting. Oops, uh, I don't think I put my tool down. I always forget to do that part. Let's go ahead. Oop, wait. We're planting grass. This is what I do. I always forget to change the seed type. Here we go. All right, let's try to make sure we do it right this time. Here we go. All right, back and forth, back and forth. I will see you guys in just a minute. And that mostly completes this little field right over here. I did miss a little bit of a spot down at the other end. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to turn around really quick. Oh, why does it always do that? That's really annoying. So the way this thing turns around sometimes, it just doesn't uh, it doesn't turn around in a way that makes it so you can get all these little spots without having to stop and like finagle it a little bit. 
And then there's a little spot over here I want to make sure I get, because we only have to plant the grass fields once, so we might as well do it really well the first time, so that way there's no little gaps in there. All right, so now we have our grass situation updated as much as we can. Let's get this cedar put away. We'll put the, uh, well, advance time to next month, get a grass cutting in, and then we'll be able to finish out the year and sell off our silage. So we need to drive over this way. Then we need to drive over this way. And then we need to swing around all of our equipment so that we can drop off our cedar, and then we'll be able to advance time. Definitely need to make sure we check our chickens, though, because um, I want to make sure that we don't have another situation where we uh, run out of feed. They don't like it when you do that, so let's make sure we're let's make sure we're paying paying, paying proper attention to our animals. There, they're, yeah, I think they're good till next month. Get the tractor turned off. Let's go ahead and advance time to next month. All right. So our grass fields should be ready to cut. Uh, there's really only going to be two of them this... Whoa, what the heck was that? Really? That, that's wheat, right? Okay, this looks like grass. <laughs> Let's go ahead. There's really only those two fields there that we need to cut because we've turned everything else into wheat. So, sorry, dude. You're about to get pinched between machinery because it's just a video game. All right. And then we'll back ourselves up into this guy here. And then we need to get all the way over here. And I do believe that now that these fields are turned that way, we're going to go from this side to this side. So we'll do a quick headland pass over here. Get our trailer spun out so that way we don't have any issues with that. Get our mower turned on we'll go up and back once go down there go up and back once over there and then we'll start doing some passes back and forth so i'll see you guys when we're done with the field you guys have seen enough mowing this episode and that does it for our grass cutting this year so let's go ahead and get this finished up get our grass dis uh, deposited in the silage factory and then we can advance time to where we're ready to sell it make a decent bit of money buy another plot of land and uh, get ourselves set up to where hopefully we have enough, uh, hopefully have enough land set aside for our chickens that we'll be able to have another set of them. That would be pretty nice. We will eventually get into some cows, but uh, it's going to be a little bit for that, I think. It takes a little bit of time to get all of this set up the way you want it. Get that, uh, get all our grass put off to the side there. Then we can drop all this stuff off, and uh, I think we're probably gonna need to feed our chickens here. Let's check that out. Yeah, we better go put some. Uh, we better go put some some feed into the chicken coop there. That's not gonna go well for us if they end up. Oh, go off you go, off you go. Yep, 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 yep. All right, there we go. Get that put away. Get that set off. Get our mower turned off right there. Go grab our uh, trailer so we can grab some wheat. Feed our, feed our chickens for a few more months, and then we can, uh, well, we'll probably need to sell some eggs too, huh? Uh, no, I think we're good for, well, I don't know. I'm indecisive. Where is our, I was about to say, where is our trailer that had all of the, that we can put our green in? It's this one right here. So we'll back into that. Bam. Hit up the silo over here where all of our wheat is stored. Okay, right there, wheat. We have 25,000 liters of wheat, so plenty to get us through the year, but that's mostly because we bought that field over there that already had wheat uh, growing in it, and that gave us quite a bit of a, quite a, a bit of a windfall there. So we still need to get to the point where we're growing enough wheat to feed all of our chickens. We just kind of got lucky and that, that one happened to be ready to go. So wait for that to empty out. I don't think it'll empty out all the way. That's 8,000 liters, and it only holds like 9,000 or something like that. But uh, we'll be able to fill up our chicken coop there and then advance time. And... Is that going to stay there like that? Awesome. We'll let that sit there so we can go grab our auto-loading trailer, sell off some eggs, because I would like to go ahead and just advance time straight to December so we can sell off our silage.
Alright, pull ourselves right up here. Auto loading goodness and drop this stuff off at the sales point. I'm really glad that we have the sell all point here because having to drive it all the way over to the place where we can sell our eggs would take a very long time. <laughs> and everything already takes a very long time. All right, our chickens are now full up on their eggs. I do want to go back over there for a sense of realism to. Uh, like, I try to do things that save time from things that are repetitious, but at the same time, I do try to maintain a slight level of realism uh, when it comes to things like making sure that our trailer is covered up and protected from the elements, because we have some wheat stored in there, and uh, might as well... Might as well make sure that that's all covered up and good to go. Okay, so now we'll park our, we'll park our tractor here, because we're going to be pretty much done for the year. Get that turned off and double check our prices one more or one time before we start moving on it does look like we're going to get to january so let's go ahead and advance time to uh november december check our eggs over here yeah we're gonna need i, I thought we were done for the winter but I, for, I always forget that the eggs come in pretty quick and we need to stay on top of that because if we don't remember to stop and grab and sell, they fill up, and then uh, the eggs that are being produced end up getting wasted because we're not selling them. Really need to find a mod that allows me to automatically sell these if I would like to. I, th I think it's kind of dumb that they set this up, that they set the, uh, that they have, they haven't set up these production points here as something where you can set them up for selling or storing or whatever like you can with the other production points. I understand that they're barns and coops and things like that, but we still should have the option of just being able to, to distribute or sell or whatever it is that we want to do, just like the, the regular production points. Really should be that way. Come on, finish selling, thank you. Okay, and then um, I think we're gonna wait until, because I think this year, oops. I think this year the price, yeah, there's a relatively steep price difference here. So let's go ahead, well, let's double check our chickens. Oh yeah, they're good on the feed. Let's go ahead and move into January. And now we're gonna set our production point to selling and we'll move into February. Oh, there we go. Actually didn't, I guess we didn't, did we, did it sell everything? It did sell everything. Okay, so now we have $333,000 with which we can go ahead and buy some stuff. So I think we're gonna go ahead and buy this field here. And then we have enough to buy another field. I think we should probably go all in and just invest in uh, farmland this year. So that way we can turn all of this into grass field and turn all of this in, and turn both of these into wheat fields. And that will allow us to have plenty of chicken feed for a second chicken coop over here. And we're building a grass, uh, we'll bu we're building up enough grass over here to uh, maybe put some cow barns somewhere on the property. So I th we're, gonna def we're definitely gonna get that one. I think we'll go ahead and grab that one as well. That leaves us with $74,000 to uh, keep ourselves afloat as we continue to grow. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and call it there. Hopefully you guys have been having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you have so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a long-term commitment, you can always leave a, uh, a tip in the form of that thanks button. Uh, direct contributions such as those are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys are enjoying building this farm with me. Be sure to come back for the next one and I'll see you then.